Okay, reverse throne. So we did throne in one of the previous episodes, which was facing forwards. Do you want to show that very quickly, just so people are reminded? This is the normal throne or forward facing throne. So the reverse throne is going to be the exact same pose, but facing the other direction. Okay. So in this case, I bring my arm behind my back, arm extended, thumb kissing toward each other. Okay. First, I'm going to find my foot position. So we were doing the back bird and the straddle butt earlier, where we had the feet on the lower back or the toes pointing towards the lower back. This one, we want to slide the toes out to the sides and be just below uh, the bum crease or just at the top of the upper thighs here. Nice. So, so in this position, we connect the hands from the start. Yeah, and we're connecting the hands. We're going to go through this exact hand position in a second to explain this, but this is called a hand-to-hand -hand grip. And then, same as before in all the poses, I bend, receive, and then press up my legs. So I wrap my feet around, back, to my front, my back towards my front. When we feel stable, we first have to release the hands to be able to extend my legs fully into the position. Okay. Yes. And again, same thing in the regular throne. I want to lengthen myself up towards the ceiling. Yeah, this feels very solid, very comfortable. Nice. To come down, we're going to reverse everything back the other way. So, I present my hands first. I'll bend my knees, let those hands connect and secure. When I feel the connection, I will unhook my feet. And then we go down. We go down to the All back. the way back. Okay, so the spotting for this pose, again, we're going to be watching the hips, but this time we're going to be watching them from behind. So, we're doing a warrior stance facing to the back of the mat in this case, one hand around each side of the hip. Pressing up, very nice. And I just stay here the whole time. Again, you can hover one inch away, create space, allow them to find their own balance. If it goes too far, you can secure it. Very nice. Super stable, okay. Down. So the hands connecting first. Again, I stay on the hips, wait for them to release, touch the ground, stand up, and then my job is done. Okay. Easy. Okay, Astri wants to base Minty. Yeah? I'm closer, Minty, to me. So Brent's going to gonna spot this one. So the spot, one second, the spot is in a warrior stance facing to the back of the mat. So you're going to be around the side of the hips, facing the same direction as your flyer essentially. One hand around the far side, one hand. Yes, that's a nice warrior. Let's go with the other hand. So you want, yes, this hand around the back. This way you can support with the arm behind the back so she doesn't feel like she's falling backwards. Pressing up, there we go. Good. <laughs> nice. So a flyer tip here is to lengthen and lift from your core. So you think of pressing up from your core a bit. Yeah, sitting up a nice and tall, a good posture, essentially. Looks good. Sit back a tiny bit. Yes. And then lengthen from there. 